Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. A special hello to any first time visitors to my channel. I hope this is the first of many visits to come. If you would take a quick second and hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video, I would really appreciate it. The topic of today's video is going to be a handbag review and the bag I'm going to be reviewing today is the Chanel Chain Around Maxi in black. I'm going to give you some basic information about the bag, show you how I pack it, provide you with some mod shots, and let you know my thoughts on the bag. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so here is the beautiful Chanel Chain Around Maxi bag. It measures 13 inches across, 11 inches tall, 4 inches deep, and has a 13 inch strap drop. This bag was originally released by Chanel at the end of 2010 for their 2011 cruise collection and retailed for $3,800. It was a huge hit, so they ended up re-releasing it for their pre-fall 2014 collection as well. And it actually retailed in 2014 for the exact same price of $3,800, which I personally find to be a bit surprising because they do incur price increases. So I was very pleasantly surprised that the cost of the bag did not vary from the original release of uh, the Cruise 2011 to the pre-fall 2014. It was offered in a variety of colors, black, obviously, navy, I've seen taupe, I've seen red, I've seen a gray color. There were a lot of good, fun colors, and then obviously some classic ones as well. I believe they all had silver hardware. And obviously, as the name implies, it's a chain around, meaning that there is a chain all the way around the bag on both sides. I really like that because it gives the bag a little bit more personality than just simple leather with the double CCs. It gives a, a, little, a little more oomph, in my opinion. And I do like that the quilting varies in size as well. As you can see the top here, their quilting is a little bit bigger. And the leather is actually washed lambskin. So it makes the bag a little more durable than just traditional lambskin, which I do like and appreciate as well. The strap is doubled up. You cannot separate it as you can see. And it's got the braid, double braiding here. So it allows for a nice thick, shoulder strap on your shoulder when you carry it, which I'll show you later. Um, this chain obviously does add weight because they don't use cheap or dingy kind of chains at Chanel. It's, it's a quality chain, so it does add some heft and weight to it. So if you're the type of person that likes a lighter weight bag, this probably will not work for you, but it's a lovely bag nonetheless. I do not have an issue as far as the weight goes, so that did not, affect my purchasing decision, um, but it is a heavy bag. So if you're the type of person that does not like that or finds that to be an issue or a concern, this would certainly be something I would try to see in person before buying. Unfortunately, because this is a bag that has been discontinued and was only offered a couple times, the latest being about five years ago, your only options are the resale market, so that might make it difficult, but who knows, you might end up getting lucky and finding someone selling it that's local to you, or maybe it's even a friend that might own it that can let you check it out and see how you like it before committing to a purchase like this. The back does not have a pocket, obviously the front doesn't either, as you could see. So no exterior pockets to work off of, but when you open it up like this, you'll see there's the lovely, cream interior here. You've got one zipper in the back that runs pretty far down. It is down the whole length, I would say. And then on the other side, you've got those two pockets you see right here, the cell phone pocket and a larger slip pocket. And here is a D-ring so you can attach your keys to it so that you don't lose them in the bag. It's the maxi bag like I said, so it is a very nice, big, generous bag, I would say, for Chanel. It holds a fairly good amount of stuff, which is really great, in my opinion. I think this ends up helping make the bag a little more useful, and at least for someone like me that does like to carry a little more, probably than the average person, it makes this bag super duper useful for me and allows me to reach for it a little more than I would a bag that might not carry as much. So I have been enjoying it a lot as of late, and I will show you how I have been carrying it and what I have been including in it. So let's move on to the packing stage. 
All right, everyone, here's the bag. I haven't filled it yet. I'm obviously gonna show that to you now on camera. I just wanted to tell you though that when I am packing it these days, I am packing everything in a vertical way. I have found that that is the best way to maximize the space in here and get the most out of carrying this particular bag. So with that being said, as always, my Kate Spade Lacey wallet, my trusted wallet will go in here. And you know what I'll do? I'll open it like this. It'll probably be easier to show you guys. So lay that in vertically like so. I'll grab my pouch here that's got some medicine and a travel size brush, some oil blotting wipes, you know, the usual girly things you might want to carry with you. Put it in right there. Got another pouch here just carrying some more essentials of mine that obviously did not fit in that other pouch right next to it, like so. I've got my little Betty pouch here that I used to carry loyalty cards and coupons and all those goodies right there. I've got my headphones, small portable headphones. I'll stick those right over there. A pair of sunglasses. Pop those in right there. I've got my little Ziploc bag of emergency makeup, mascara, lip products, some tinted moisturizer, lip primer, hair ties. I'll put that probably right in there. I think that's where it's been floating these days. I've got my little work pouch here that's got keys for my little cubicle area and got um, gum in here. Just some, some little stuff that I'd like to keep handy. Put that actually in the pocket, that larger pocket that you see right there. That way it doesn't get lost in the bottom of my bag. And when I get to work, it's easy to grab and go. And then I've just got a couple mints right here that I'll just toss in the little cell phone compartment. And then obviously if I wasn't filming with it right now, I'd probably toss my phone in here if and when needed, if I didn't have a coat on that could store my phone and that's it fully packed it's obviously there's no i'll show you the tour there's no bulking it fits just the right amount i'm mindful of ensuring that i don't overstuff it so that it doesn't lose its shape or that i don't strain it too much because you know we we want to make sure that this beautiful piece lasts a very long time and and retains its excellent quality and that I don't end up doing anything to damage it. Now what I'll do is provide you with some mod shots so you can see how it looks on me. All right, everyone, here's the bag on me. For reference, I am five foot six. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Don't really have much to say aside from that. Um, the one thing I do want to say though, is that I really, love the strap drop length. On me, it is really great. I feel like it sits alongside my body just right at 13 inches. And then when I want to put my arm in it like so and just kind of, you know, rest it on there, I feel like everything sits where it naturally would feel comfortable. So I feel like it was just designed, at least for me, very well. I'm very pleased with the way it carries on me and the way it sits on my shoulder. It's very natural, very comfortable. I don't feel even though the bag is heavy on its own and even though obviously I have stuff in it so there is more added weight for me. Again, this is a non-issue. It works really nicely for me and my purpose. I don't feel like I'm being pulled down in any way. When I put my arm or my hand through here and, and just rest it with the strap alongside it, like I said, it just feels very natural, very comfortable. So I am really, really loving and enjoying this bag a great deal in the last few months. Very beautiful. All right, that's it for the mod shots. All right, now I wanted to just take a couple minutes and let you know my thoughts on the bag. Comes as no surprise that I absolutely love it. I actually purchased this bag about a year and a half ago through the resale market. And to be honest with you, in that year and a half, I did not carry it very much initially. I you know, was nervous. I was babying it a lot. It was my first Chanel. It was my very first Chanel bag. So I was very nervous to carry it and, and thinking that, you know, oh, carrying it to work wasn't good enough or, you know, running an errand or heading to the mall wasn't a good enough purpose to pull out the bag. And 
I actually even toyed around with the idea of selling it because I wasn't reaching for it, but I felt like I wasn't giving it a fair shot. So within the last few months, I decided, you know what, this bag is not better than me. Who cares if I'm carrying it just to work or just to the mall? It's good enough. I, I, it's more than good enough. I'm going to start carrying it. I'm going to start using it. I'm going to start appreciating it. And if I decide to sell it after giving it a fair shot, then that makes sense and so be it, but not before that, not before I've given it a fair shake. So I pulled it out, I started carrying it to work, and lo and behold, I love it. It's actually been working as a work bag for me really, really nicely. It carries nearly everything I would normally carry in my other bags. The one exception is just the pouch that I'm carrying around right now for the Invisalign treatment I am currently on, but I toss that in my other bag that I carry with me to work and boom, this bag is perfect now for work. So I have, like I said, I've been using it pretty much consistently for a few weeks now and I have I've been enjoying it. I'm finally enjoying the bag. I'm enjoying my Chanel. Like what a concept, <laughs> you know? Um, I don't foresee myself selling this at all. Um, you know, obviously Chanel is known for their classic flaps and their boy bags, which I love and appreciate. But by comparison, those hold nothing. This thing, there's no way I could put any of those items or any of the items in here, they would not fit into the classic or the boy bag, not all of them, and, and not in the way that I, I've packed it, no way. Um, this bag, you know, still holds the classic details of Chanel with the quilting and the chain and the, the CCs, but carries a lot and allows me to use it as an everyday work bag. So for that, I am super duper appreciative. And yeah, I just, I just don't see myself selling this at all. I'm going to use it as a work bag. Like I said, it's not better than me. It's not better than commuting to work or, or to the mall for a quick shopping trip. I'm just going to use it. You know, I'm not going to be fearful of it. And I'm sure I'm not the only one out there. If, if you guys feel this way about your designer bags, let me know below. I'd like to feel like I'm not the only one out there that thinks that way sometimes about their bags. But let me tell you, scratch that mentality out of your mind. Bust out those bags. Use them. They're beautiful. You didn't buy them as shelf decorations. You bought them to wear them and wear them. They're great. So I love this bag. I think if you are able to find it on the resale market for a price that works for you, and if you think it will work for you, being mindful of the fact that it is a heavy bag on its own, I will tell you that it is heavy. So if, again, you're not a big heavy bag person, if you think that could be a problem, I would encourage you to try to be able to purchase it from somewhere perhaps that might have a return policy, maybe someone that's local to you where you can check it out in person. Maybe fingers crossed, you know someone that has this bag that way you can go see it and know definitively this is not gonna work for me or oh my gosh, it is great. It's gonna work perfect for me. I'm gonna be on the lookout for this bag. It's, it's a great, great item. I love it. The craftsmanship is all there, the details, anything that screams Chanel to the average person is all here. It's it's beautiful. I I highly recommend it. I am enjoying it. I am so so glad that I did give it a chance and didn't decide to just sell it because I hadn't been using it cuz like I said I didn't give it a fair shake. I was not grabbing it because I was thinking, "Oh, I shouldn't carry it to work. It's just work." Or, "Oh, I'm oh, I'm headed to the mall. It's just a quick trip. Whatever. I'm not going to bust out the bag." I I'm using it now more and more and I'm getting my money's worth. Finally, you know, so I'm really enjoying it and I would definitely encourage you guys to entertain this bag as an option. If you are looking for something around this size and as a shoulder bag and, you know, don't necessarily need the option of a crossbody like you could get with the boy or the classic, I think this is definitely a very, very nice piece to add to your closet. So before I go, I did want to show you. I pulled out the box to provide you with the details of this particular bag in case you are looking for it. I just wanted to share this with you so that you can write down all the details you might need to help track your track it down. Before I go, in case you were wondering, like with any other Chanel bag, it does come with a dust bag, obviously, and you do get all the information, you know, the booklets, the little wipe here that you can use to buff out the leather if and when you might get a scratch on it. But like I said, this is a uh, washed lambskin, so it's super duper durable and I have had no issues. I haven't, you know, worried about it too much and, and, and babied it too, too much. And, you know, and I'm a nitpicky person. I will see something if, if it's there and I'm, I'm not seeing anything. So, 
So it is a durable bag. Don't be afraid when you hear the word lambskin because that is a very luxurious yet kind of delicate, though not as delicate as people make it out to be. With this being washed lambskin, it makes it more durable. It, it makes it more like a, a calf skin or a or almost like a caviar where it, it, it can handle a little bit more. So so don't be fearful of the fact that it is a washed lambskin because it is it can handle itself. It won't it won't dinge up quickly. But yeah, like I said, it comes with you know all the necessary booklets, the pouch, uh, or rather the um, the wipe there, and obviously we've got the authenticity card. And the person that I ended up purchasing this from was kind enough to actually even include the receipt from when they purchased it themselves, and you know as well as the tag here. But all that information was on the box that I just showed you earlier. So so all these goodies do come with the bag, obviously. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.